When he was a child, he was a passionate footballer. In 1903, he enrolled as an undergraduate at Copenhagen University, initially studying philosophy and mathematics. He was awarded the Nobel Prize for his services in the investigation of the structure of atoms and the radiation emanating from them. One of his sons, Ajay Niels Bohr, went on to win the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1975, just like his pop. Bohr lived in Copenhagen, Denmark, where he founded the Institute for Theoretical Physics in 1921, now known as the Niels Bohr Institute. After he won a gold medal for an essay writing contest about surface tension, he changed his major from philosophy to physics. He first conducted experiments with J.J. Thompson. Then he studied under Ernest Rutherford. He also introduced the idea that an electron could drop from a higher energy orbit to a lower one, emitting a photon. <laughs> He also conceived the principle of complementarity, which was that items could be separately analyzed as having several contradictory properties. After the war, Bohr returned to Copenhagen, advocating the peaceful use of the nuclear energy. Because of this, he was awarded the Order of the Elephant and designed his own coat of arms, which featured a tachitu, which was a yin-yang sign. Heisenberg worked as an assistant for Bohr. Heisenberg became the head of the German atomic bomb project, but then got arrested. In September 1943, the order came to arrest Jews in Copenhagen. Word was leaked to Bohr that he would soon be arrested by the Nazis. He escaped late that month and passed to Great Britain in early October. He fled to America to advise the scientists on the atomic bomb. Bohr soon began working in the top secret lab Los Alamos in New Mexico on the Manhattan Project. While working in Los Alamos, he was under a fake name, Nicholas Baker. He was known to everyone as the Father Confessor! It, he died in Copenhagen 1962 of heart failure! <laughs> Jonathan, boys were not overlooked, Uncle Sam.